Hi, everybody. Hi. Hope you haven't missed us too much. We took a nice break. No screen time break for a couple weeks, but we're back. That's right. And we've brought a fun new book. What's it called? What Should Danny Do? That's my name. Imagine that, a book with my name on it. But I did not write it. Let's see, who wrote this book? Gannett and Adir Levy, illustrated by Matt Sadler. And it has nine stories in one. How does it have nine stories? Well, I think you get to make choices. That's right. It's a book about choices. Because some days you're in the green zone, ready to learn, ready to work. Some days you're in the blue zone where you might feel sad or tired. Some days you're in the yellow zone where you could be anxious, worried. Sometimes you're in the red zone and you're mad or angry. Yeah, today I feel like I'm in the green zone. Well, let's plan that today Danny is going to be in the green zone in this story and see what kind of choices he makes. Wow, that's a great idea, Danny. I thought so, too. And then each day we could decide to make different choices in the story. Okay, let's read it. Let's read it. Okay, Sam. Have a seat. And here we go. What should Danny do? Nine stories in one. Let's find out what happens. Oh, look at this little boy. He says... Hi, my name is Danny. My favorite things in the whole world are soccer, superheroes, and ninjas. I also love skateboards, but I don't have one yet. You may be wondering why I'm wearing a cape, so I'll let you in on my secret. I'm a superhero in training. That means I have some superpowers. But I'm still working on the rest. For example, I jump super high. I run super fast. I have super muscles. And even though I can't fly just yet, I'm still working on it. Daddy says that my most important superpower of all is my power to choose. With this power, I can change my day by changing my choices. He even gives me the coolest new cape so that I don't forget. Today is a special day because you'll be making choices for me. When you get to the end of the day, you can start over and make different choices. Then we'll see if the power to choose really does change my day. Ready? Let's go. Mmm, do I smell pancakes? I love pancakes. I zoom downstairs. Chocolate chip pancakes, I yell. But then, I see my brother Charlie eating from our ninjutsu ninja plate. That plate is my favorite. I want the ninja plate, I say. I know you love that plate, Mommy says. But Charlie is already eating from it. She puts two pancakes in front of me. But they're on an alphabet plate. I already know my alphabet. What should Danny do? Eat the pancakes on the alphabet plate? Or yell until he gets the ninja plate? Well, we decided he's going to be in the green zone. So we're going to turn to page. 26. He's just going to use that alphabet plate. Page 26. Here we are. But can I have the ninja plate next time, I ask? Mommy smiles and says, of course. The pancakes are delicious. I can feel them charging my superpowers with every bite. After we finish, Mommy tells us to get ready because we're going to the park. Score! I love the park. Do you want to set up a lemonade stand while we're there, Mommy asks? 
Yes, I say. No way, Charlie pouts. I want to play at the park, not work. You can play, Mommy says, but you won't get to share the money if you don't help Danny. That's okay with me, Charlie says. I quickly get dressed and then make a big lemonade sign. I got ten lemons, two pitchers, and some sugar. I'm lucky I have the super muscles to carry it all. I squeeze the lemons, but the last one is really hard. I summon my super strength and finally get the juice to come out. But then, oops, the juice squirts right into my eye. Ow! It stings so much. I start to cry. Charlie laughs at me. What should Danny do? Stomp really hard on Charlie's foot or tell Charlie that isn't nice. Hmm. Let's use our words and tell him it's not nice. Turn to page 34. Laughing at me isn't nice, I tell Charlie. Mommy is happy I use my words to let Charlie know how I feel. She helps me rinse my eye and the sting slowly goes away. I finish making the lemonade and Mommy lets me have a whole glass. Mmm, that makes me feel even better. We go to the park and Charlie runs off to play. At first no one wants my lemonade, but then a great idea pops into my head. I use my laser beam focus to turn the plain lemonade into super lemonade. I wish I had laser beam focus. I shout as loud as I can, fresh squeezed super lemonade, only 50 cents. Drink some and get a superpower for the day. My idea works. After an hour, I have just one cup left. I see a girl running towards me. I use my mind reading ability to see what she wants a superpower of her own. But then, oops, she trips and knocks my table down. The last cup of lemonade spills all over my shirt. What should Danny do? Help the girl up? Yell at the girl for spilling his last cup. Hmm. Let's choose to help. Page 38. I help the girl up. I'm so sorry, she says. Don't worry, I tell her. It was an accident. Her mom pays me a whole dollar for the cup she spilled, even though my mommy says she doesn't have to. Score. I made $26 from the lemonade stand. I remember to set $3 aside for charity, so I have $23 left. Mommy surprises me and takes me to the toy store because of how good I've been today. I know exactly what I want to get, and I've made just enough money to buy it. I wonder what he's going to buy. I get home and ride my skateboard down the street. Wow, I'm finally flying. Whoosh. My best friend Jakey sees me and says, Whoa, Danny, how did you get that cool skateboard? I tell him about my superpower lemonade and offer to help him make some next week. He's super excited. I'm proud of how you've used your power to choose today, Danny. Mommy says. So I'll let you make one more choice. What we'll have for dinner. Hmm. I wonder what food will charge my superpowers the best. And look at it in his thought bubble. He's thinking about hamburger with french fries, sushi, or pizza. And that's the end of adventure number one. So tomorrow we'll be able to make different choices and see what happens based on our attitude.